Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti from AnthonyMorganti.com. This is the first episode of a new video series where we're going to talk about printing in Lightroom. Now, it doesn't matter if you print to your own printer or if you send your images off to a lab to be printed. We'll be covering it in this video series. In this first episode, we're going to talk about monitor or screen calibration. Probably the biggest issue folks have is that they either print their images or they get them back from the printer and what they're looking at doesn't look like what they've seen on their screen. And the reason for that, almost always, is because their monitor is not calibrated. It's very important. Now the folks over at B&H Photo were kind enough to loan me the Spider 5 Pro Advanced Monitor Calibration. And this tool is so easy to use. I'm going to show you how to use it. And even if you don't have mad computer skills, you'll be able to calibrate your screen in 10 minutes with this. And I really can't stress how important it is to make sure that your screen is calibrated. You want to make sure that the colors you're looking at and the brightness and contrast that you're seeing on your screen will be represented, represented on the print when you get it back. And this little device will do it. So what happens is you just plug it in and you run the software. And it comes up with this wizard. And it's going to you know, tell you to make sure that you warmed up your screen for at least a half hour. Make sure you don't have any intense light falling directly on the screen. Make sure that your monitor is at its default settings, like when you got it out of the box. Uh, if you changed any of your monitor settings, it's just recommending that you put them back to where they were when you, um, when you uh, bought the monitor or laptop. Um, just put them back to their uh, default positions. Then plug it in and you're ready to roll. You click on Next. Now it's asking, do we have a desktop or a laptop? It already knows we have a laptop. We're going to click Next. And it sensed that it's an Apple and it has a color LCD. We're going to click Next. Now, since I've calibrated this screen in the past, it's asking me if I want to just recalibrate it, just check the calibration, or do a full calibration. For this demonstration, we'll do a full calibration. And it's showing our target settings, which is what is recommended. And we're going to leave it at that. We're just going to click Next. Now, in this um, screen, it's asking us to place the spider in this specific spot. The reason for that is after I click Next, the screen is going to start displaying different brightness levels in different colors. And this device will read those colors so that it could set the, the screen and calibrate the screen to the correct settings at the end. So to do that, this has a little cover over the sensor. So we just pull that off. And it acts as a counterweight, so when you put it across your screen, it will uh, balance on your screen properly. So you could slide it on the wire uh, like this and just lay it on there so that it's perfectly in that spot. Now you could tilt your screen back a little bit so maybe it, it just helps it lay a little flat. And then click Next. And as I mentioned, the screen is, or your computer will now go through a bunch of different um, calibration screens, different brightness levels, black levels, and colors. And I've measured this, and it typically takes around six minutes. So we're going to pause the video. It's no sense me standing here, sitting here talking to you throughout the whole time. So we're going to pause the video, and we'll come back when it's done. Okay guys, it's all done. It's telling me to click Finish and to remove the Spider 5. And it came up with a profile and it's calling it the Apple Color LCD-1. And it's asking me if I uh, want a reminder and when or the frequency of the reminder. So I'm going to say in a month, remind me. If you print a lot, I suggest that you uh, calibrate every week. Um, but I don't print as much, so one month is fine. So we're going to click Save. And it says, congratulations, it's been saved. We're going to now click Next. And now it's going to show me a before and after view. Now, since I've calibrated this screen very recently, I'm not sure how much of a change you'll see in the video. I do know when I did it the first time, it was considerably warmer after I calibrated. Very, very noticeable. So we'll just click Switch. 
and there's before the uncalibrated state and there's the current state right there. And as um, I suspected, I don't really see much of a change. So we're gonna click Next. And it's showing me now uh, that my current displays gamut is getting the 99% of the sRGB range, which is excellent. And then you could click and see these other color spaces, NTSC and Adobe RGB, just to see how much of this screen, my current settings on the screen, will capture from that color gamut. So that's just for reference pur purposes. Now, an important thing and a great feature of this specific um, Spider 5, the Spider 5 Pro, once we put that back over the screen sensor, on the other side is an ambient light sensor. You leave this plugged into your computer and just leave it sitting on your desk. And every five minutes I have mine set for. It will do um, a sampling of the ambient light in the room and it will adjust the brightness and contrast of my screen automatically in the background. Why that is important is if you have your computer in a very dark room, and you have the brightness and contrast level set to a specific level. And then you take that same screen and computer and put it into a very bright room, it's probably going to look dark and you're going to want to turn up the brightness and contrast. And if you're printing, that's going to just mess up your prints because you're going to be um, processing your images based on what you're looking at on your screen. So. With this, it will just automatically adjust the screen and you could be assured that what you're seeing will probably be what you print. So that is a very important feature of the Spider um, 5 um, Pro. So I suggest that you get one with an ambient light sensor. Now I've used both the Spider 5 Pro by Datacolor and I've used the Color Monkey and they both work pretty much the same way and I recommend them both. If you catch one on sale, don't hesitate to buy it. Um, in the description below, I'll have links to both. I'd like to thank again uh, b &H Photo for loaning me this so I could do this video. And they've loaned me some printers also so I could do some um, videos, you know, further videos about printing with, uh, with uh, Lightroom. In the second episode, we're going to talk about soft proofing. And a lot of people are confused about what soft proofing is and it's in the develop module of Lightroom. So be looking for that in the second video. Until then, I'll talk to you guys soon, and I really do appreciate everyone watching. Take care.